I thank you, God, because you are so faithful and so good to us. We don't deserve any of your kindness or your goodness, but it's simply because you are God and God alone that we um, breathe and that we move and have our being. So we give you praise, give you thanks. Um, you're our God, and we pray, Lord, that you would um, send truth, Lord. Let everything that is said be straight from your word. Let it be from your mouth. You said in your word that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. So help us. You be the teacher. Anoint us to hear. God, we want to please you. Help us to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Right, How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, all right. We've been talking about calling on the Lord, and the Lord confirmed over and over and over again, particularly with the prayer revival that's coming up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, um, that we should... Um, we should learn how to pray. We've been talking about calling on the Lord, but today we're going to call it, Lord, teach me to pray. You think you know how to pray? Think hey, you know how to pray? Mm -hmm. No, the basics. <laughs> oh, really? Well, we're going to find out tonight whether or not you know the basics. Because a lot of people are doing some things and their prayer is doing this. Sitting this in, coming right on down. I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, so um, it doesn't take a lot. It takes a sense of your heart. It's the one prerequisite. Bah. It's the one prerequisite. One prerequisite um, that foils the best of preachers, the best of missionaries, the best of evangelists. Is having a sincere heart, not doing things out of habit, not doing things because somebody told us to, not praying because we're on autopilot and we hear what people normally say when they pray, so we say that. Um, and maybe I, I put the cart before the horse, um, before the other classes, and, and maybe not, because I know the Lord told me to say them at, the time, at those times. And we talked about reasons why we pray. We talked about what, you know, what happens that makes us pray. So I guess this is a, a, a good succession. Um, because now when we pray, we need to make sure that we're praying, um, praying the right way. James says you have not because you ask not. And then if you don't receive it, many times it's not because you didn't pray, it's because you asked amiss. It means you didn't pray right because you wanted to consume what you prayed for on your own lusts. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, a very, a very, I don't want to say familiar, but... Um, Often pray prayer. We're going to break it down today. I've been really scratching some notes down and jotting some references down for how to pray. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions first. Let me put over here um, feelings or reasons so I don't forget. All right. Uh, teach me how to pray. What do you expect from your parents? At this, age, at this age in your life, at this age, what do you expect your parents to be for you? Or be for you? Because you're growing up now, you're kind of your own people now. Yeah. What role does your parent, or do your parents, have in your life now? Collect the rent money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so they... Oh, she. That's their. That's their. <laughs> right. That's their expectation of you. What okay. do you expect from him or her? Um, guidance. Okay. In matters of what? Um, well, in becoming a well, being a young adult and transitioning into like basically being on my own, I expect them. To basically give me, um, will show me, um, you're definitely right. Go ahead, right. take a minute because I didn't give you a lot of think time. Think about what you expect because they're older, you're older, it's not like you're a kid anymore. What do you expect from your parents at this age, right here, young adult age? Think about that and why you get together. So, you definitely had guidance, yeah. What else you got? I mean, like, add to that if you can. We'll, you can talk it out. We'll we'll work it out with you. What you got? Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, you know, like, everybody's family is different. So, is it kind of like, mm -hmm. what, what would you have expected? You know, like, like as a parent? Yeah, like, you know, because, like, everybody... 
Uh, you know, everybody doesn't trying to stand up again. Mm-hmm. He, <laughs> everybody, you know, doesn't have both parents, or you know, like right. and things happen. You know, being one. all that kind of. So it's like, kind of like, like I, you know, like I only have one parent, and it's been it's like right. like just that so parent. You, you know, that's that's true. What do you expect from that parent? Now, it may not necessarily be like because some parents, you have some parents on crack. You don't expect nothing from them. Uh, they expect the money from you. You see what I'm saying? They expecting you to open up your piggy bank. And, and that's what I'm eat. saying. So is it well, kind of- ideal, let's just say the ideal parent. If if your parent was, think, if your parent was, you know, we just talking about in an ideal situation. At this stage in your life, what do you need from a parent? Maybe that maybe that's a better way to say it. What do you need from a parent at this stage in your life? You're not babies anymore. You know, school is done. What do you expect them to do now? Because they were a major part of getting you to this point. Whether they did a good job or not is something else. But who you are right now, they played a major role in that. What do you expect from your parents at this stage? Support, understanding. All right, you just know. So you said you want guidance is great. That's like number one. What else? You said you want support. What else? Understanding. Understanding. Supporting you how? Um, emotionally. Um, financially. Huh? What did you say? Okay. Supporting you emotionally. Supporting your decisions. Okay. <laughs> Good or bad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it's bad, you're going to support. If it's good, you want to support. I mean, just uh, support me. Mama want to take up underwater basket weaver. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better be the best underwater basket weaver day. Ah, okay, okay. I can understand that. Bad. <laughs> a naked underwater <laughs> my, my sister and I talked about that like last week. About how my mother like kills all our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I just shut some down so you say something. <laughs> yep. You can't do it. Down. down. Okay. All, all the unrealistic ones at least. This guidance, that's a big one. Guidance. How would how would you expect your parents to guide you now? Well, at this at this place in your life, Instead of telling ideal you, parent, what would you need? What would you need from a parent at this stage in your life? Instead of telling you go do this mm-hmm. or you better not do that and be like, you know, it's probably not that great an idea if you went about well, things this way. Well, they ask you the question, do you think that's a good idea? Oh, yeah. oh I mean, that's how you think it. Yeah, how you see it. Yes. Cause see, you want to support this shit. Like, here we go. Let, that's good. You know, help you think things. Help you through. figure out that yeah, that wasn't the best <laughs> idea. And be honest about it. Don't tell you what you want to hear. Like, yes, baby. Yes. So, if they say no, you be okay with that? I mean, of course not. You don't want to hear that. You're a dream snatcher. Get him. <laughs> like, give me your opinion. No, I, I value your opinion, but know that your opinion is not the final say so. No more. Okay, that's right. Because it's, it's, things are different. They are very different now. And you know, if you I don't know. Have you have you noticed that your relationship with your parent has changed? Mm-hmm. And there's a reason. I'm, it, it, it's changed, right? Tell me, yeah. tell me how the relationship and your the relationship with your parent has changed because that has everything to do with how we approach prayer. I'm gonna show you how. I think that because like you start to get older. Now, not all parents do this, but you know, like some parents, they really do start to see you as an adult. Uh-huh. So they try, they start to treat you like that, and it's like you can talk to them more about things, and okay. it's not like, you know, like go to your room or you know all that kind of stuff. It's just like so they you seem know, a little bit, they seem a little bit more tolerant, approachable, and like you can talk more. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, and there's no, and there's really no like disappointment or you know like. Well, I mean, in some things, they're always going to be disappointed, right, but, right, right. you know, what I'm saying, like, it's just, I think it's just, you can just, not, and not, not, not just, uh, you can express yourself yeah. without as much fear as you did when you were looking, and you, you know, know when you lose, you don't say nothing back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can voice your opinion, man. Right, so okay. Now you're allowed to have an opinion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually you disagree can with them without, right, without, without getting smacked in the mouth. Yeah. You can actually earn the right to have an opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, understanding. You expect your parents to understand you. Understand your decision. Yeah. So, would they have. 
That means you have to share something with your parent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. for them to understand. And some things we don't want to share still. I mean, what you mean? For now, it's like, what you want to do? <laughs> it's done. Um, see, you got, this is the thing. You got to share. So, this looks like, that's like what did you do skill. now? With you? Right, can you tell me what the next step is? But that means you would have to share some things because this is what we're guilty of, right? We're guilty of this. We'll tell part of the story, but we want advice. We're only giving you part of the story. Mm -hmm. So can you get accurate guidance and support and advice if you only give them part of the story? Well, you can give them the whole story. Just use another friend. <laughs> right. Like, like I have friends. Friend. Right. Yeah. Um, but like, I saw like, this lady like, yeah. do this. Right. right. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Right. Think, at least my mother can tell when I'm talking about my friends and when I'm talking about myself because my friends do very different things than what I do. Oh, so and because she knows you? And because she's seen my friends. Yeah, she knows that they yeah. possibly have that. Yeah, yeah, it's like, no, nah, that's not that dude. Oh, okay. no, that's actually you, right? Uh, that's, you know, this lady really cussed this lady out on the metro. Yeah. All right. What, you, what would you say if you knew somebody who knew somebody who related to you? Right. You going to jail today? Right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Have you seen that clip? Oh, what is this? It's this oh uh, bus driver in what, Chicago or Cleveland? One of the Cleveland. Cleveland. And there's this girl rapping at him, spitting on him, and she like hits him or pushes him or something, and he gets out of the thing. He's like, You going to jail now? And he uppercuts her. Lady? <laughs> yeah, this girl. Uh, 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 he sets her flying, her, her ponytail comes off. <laughs> yes. Yes. It, 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 yeah, it, it like blew up on the internet in Cleveland. Was it gang He said, I'm going to jail. No, she's going to jail. She's going to jail. She's going to jail. Oh, no, but she got her back up and started fighting back. You you, I mean, you heard off the bus. You heard the connect and everything. He's like, they know each other? No. Because she's talking about how he's talking about how he's going to get his granddaughter on her or whatever. And she's like, bring your granddaughter, bring your whoever. I'm going to beat them down too. Yada, 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 yada. And she like starts like getting physical with him. This is something he gets up. And it's like, it's the funniest thing on the internet. No, it's like, it's kind of hilarious. It's funny. There's an Obama meme about it. There's a Street Fighter meme about it. It's me. It's me. Let me tell you. Mortal Kombat? Finish her. With all with all with all of that now, with all of that, would you be willing to share your innermost deep dark secret with your parent? Nope. I, I mean now. Now think about it. The, the disgusting stuff or the nope. embarrassing stuff. <laughs> nope. Oh come on, let's be honest. I'm going to take you right there. Would you be willing to share that? Maybe a few more years. Right. Yeah. Let me get married, y'all. Right. 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 Need to move out first. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Like that. Okay. Right. Right. Because if you want like accurate advice, that means you probably need to tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. And that's nope. the part that makes us a little bit, eh, that makes us a little bit guarded. Why? Again, because you've been burnt before. Mm -hmm. Or because you don't really want to be that vulnerable, not even with your parent. Nope. Um, but you'd be surprised what kind of resource you have if you still have a parent. You still have a great resource. And they may faint or grow pale as you're telling them <laughs> these things. Or they may look and have a smile and they may be secretly dying a million deaths while you're telling them and they're biting their jaw because they, they want to be there for you. Um, but you'd be surprised how they respond. I always tell like I always tell like different people that I'm talking to when they have to tell their mother some very, very rough news or their father some rough news. I said you need to give them a minute to process it. Yes, they're gonna kirk out. Why are you acting like this TV? On TV, mm -hmm. they even kirk out, you know, but then, you know, okay, honey, how are we going to solve this? Everything's not going to be solved in 30 minutes. You have to give your mama a minute to process that. You do understand that. Mm -hmm. When you tell her, Ma, I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you better say it in a letter. You better say it in a letter. You say Send your mama a text message. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you say it now. 
That's right. That's make, not true. Do it while they at work. Make sure they fucking hit that gas pedal. That's <laughs> right. You gotta <laughs> tell her. And she, either she not driving, something gotta happen. But you got you that you have to tell her mm-hmm. or him rough news. You gotta give her a minute to cry, mm-hmm. break down. Did I tell you that? You ain't even your back to talk. You know, she <laughs> might go there. Oh, she might. Jesus you Christ. know you don't watch TV. I talk in peace and I talk in rock. <laughs> you, got, you have to give you have to give parents, earthly parents, a minute to process some of the stuff that you gotta say to them. They might curve out. They might cry. They might just shut down and give you silent treatment for a solid week, which is worse. Mm-hmm. I would rather you curve out so I know exactly what you're thinking and then we can just work it out than for you to walk past me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in the kitchen and you in the kitchen and nobody's saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I would rather you curb out. But parents, earthly parents, need a minute to process some of the things that we give them. Because we expect them to understand, but they're human too. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. All right, what else? Anything else? At this age. See, did somebody say money? Yeah, right. Financial support? I, I think I said that joke. That's what I expect. And that's just the real, that's just the real talk. Yeah. That's you may get, yeah, that's what I was coming to you for. <laughs> that's what I was asking right. you for. I need gas. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, and that's and that's where you are because now you're in a position where you can actually contribute back to the household mm-hmm. if you're still there. And they, that I can go the other way. I wish I could ask some of them what they expect of us. And trust me, the list probably would be the same. They would expect you to understand. They would expect you. They may not. You may. Well, they may not expect you. Like, like, where my guys? They might. They may not expect like, you to guide them. That's funny. Cause but I, now that you're older, my mother does ask my guidance sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, they what do you think? Like, like we go into New York not this week, but next week uh-huh. because of some stuff I told her to do with the house in New York. Right. So now she wants me to actually do it. <laughs> I, was right. giving her, I was giving her advice. Now she wants me to do now it. Now she wants me to happen. <laughs> so guidance, it may not be. You know the way we would approach them, but they might say, well, "What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Or what you think? Mm-hmm. Or you might be watching TV and they may have a conversation with you, and they just want to hear what you're thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts and your opinions, now that you're older, matter. What do you expect from your parents now at this age? Trust. So you expect oh. them to trust you. Mm-hmm. That's a big one, right? You expect them to trust you. Why? You grown. Oh. For the where you are. You are legally wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, we still dependent. All of the things depend on other organisms. Mm-hmm. But what? It's the science teacher. Me, help me, Lord. Mm-hmm. But why do you expect them to trust you? Because um, that is a big one. Because for them to support me in what I do, they got to trust that I will succeed and make them proud for them to allow me to do certain stuff that I want to do. Okay. So trust you. Have you given them a reason to trust you? Yes. Have you done anything to break that trust? Yes. So they have good reason to trust you. What about y'all? You ever broken your parents' trust and they found out about it? Mm. Or they did something to break their trust after they found out about it? You ever done that? Well, they were like depending on you, even if it was just to come pick them up or pick your brother and sister up, and you forgot them. They stayed at the bus stop. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? It's something simple. Yeah. They trusted you to do something, and you didn't do it. I think we've all. No one's 100 percent successful at anything. <sighs> no, never. I never, never, never. Because at that point we would be God. Mm-hmm. At that one point. But sometimes, you know, for the most part, if you got a consistent track record, consistent trust record, mm-hmm. we can trust you. Um. I think that's good. that's good. Turn to Luke 11. I'm going here. Luke chapter 11. In this, in this account, and we're going to go little bit by little bit. I've been jotting down scriptures. And this is this prayer is often called the Lord's Prayer, but it's not the Lord's Prayer. This is actually a model prayer that the Lord gave His disciples. The Lord's Prayer was in Gethsemane. <laughs> Well, he said, nevertheless, not my will, your will be done. The Lord's Prayer 
was God make us one. Father, I've kept everybody that was in that you gave me in my hand. I give them back to you. But this prayer in Luke 11 that we call the Lord's Prayer is really a model prayer that Jesus gave to his disciples, meaning this is the basic framework or the basic shell for how you ought to pray or what should be included in your prayer. Often we pray, but because we do not really take prayer seriously or we don't know what we should do as we approach God in prayer, sometimes you pray amiss. You don't pray according to God's will. And all of that matters. Okay? So, here it is. And this is the one that you probably learned from a long time. Let me see. There's another one for this, too. Let's try. Actually, somebody start reading. Just start reading. Make the first two verses. Go ahead. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it uh, well, will be done 